Today, I'm going to show you how to make sense of what looks like a nightmare of wiring, but it's really not. I'm going to show you how to wire a 4-pin micro relay. How to wire to video. How to make your own. How to make your own hard top part. How to change the oil. How to fix the light problems. How to install. How to do a complete tune-up. I'm going to show you how to do that. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to wire a micro four pin relay. And I'm going to go ahead and remove all of this wiring, get everything cleared up. And then we'll go wire by wire and I'll show you just how to wire up one of these really cool tiny little relays. And just to show size difference, they are the same height as a regular relay. They are a little bit more shallow than a regular relay, but this is where you can really tell they are a lot smaller. So as you can see over here, we have our battery. This is going to, you know, stand in place as, you know, your vehicle battery. And then over here, I just have this bus bar and it's running over to the ground of the battery. So we're going to pretend like this is the chassis of the vehicle. So you could do chassis grounds because you don't have to run the ground wire all the way to the battery. You can tap in to somewhere uh, on an existing ground or somewhere on the chassis of your vehicle as long as it's a good ground. So this is going to stand in as, say, the body of our vehicle, basically. So since we're already on the topic of grounds, we're going to go ahead and start by grounding our relay. And the really nice thing about these small four pin micro relays is um, they're kind of hard to mess up. I mean, you can wire these multiple different ways. Like you can wire them backwards. You can switch, you know, the, these two wires, these two wires. I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, but technically when you're looking at this relay, they have tiny, tiny little numbers on them, just like a normal relay. Let's see if I can get this in here to focus. I highly doubt you'll be able to see the numbers because they are so small. But pin 85 is typically your ground for the relay. So we're going to go ahead and use that. But you can actually switch it over here to pin 86 if you want. It doesn't really matter on these relays. Um, and on regular relays, it's kind of the same too. But anyway, pin 86 over here, we're going to run a ground. And I've got some ground wires already made up over here. So we're going to go on to pin 85. I might have said 86 before, but it's pin 85 for the ground. And yes, these terminals are a little too big for these two. Um, they're for the standard size. You can get small, tiny little terminals for them. I have a few, but I'm not going to use them in the video because I've only got a limited few of them and I don't want to waste them. So then what we're going to do is ground our relay to the chassis. So now our relay is grounded, which is pin 85 to a ground, to a chassis ground, or you could run it to the battery if you want. Now we're going to run power to our relay, which is pin 30, which is going to be this front pin on here. And again, like I said, these can actually be switched. And again, I'll show you that at the end of the video here. So now we're going to run power to our relay and you want to run a fuse, an inline fuse on that. And uh, this is our fancy high tech inline fuse. This is actually just a fuse taped to the wire. It's not uh, doing anything other than just being taped there just for demonstration. So we're going to go on to pin 30 of our relay. And the other end of this, of course, will go to your battery. And we're going to go over here to our stand in battery and wire that onto our battery, just like that. I'm going to try to keep these wires out of the way so you can really see what's going on. And enter our light. We're using a Casey Highlights Cyclone for the demonstration here. Um, we've got our power and our ground for this. And I'm trying to use as many different colors of wire as possible so you can kind of follow along. Power is going to be blue on this light, but as you can see, it is red on the light itself, but I switched it over to blue so we could 
kind of keep track of what's going on. And this is the positive of the light, like I said, and it's going to go onto pin 87 of the relay, which is this next little pin here. And then we need to ground our light. And we're going to go back over here to our chassis ground. So as you can see, we only have one pin left on our relay. And for that, we need to wire our switch. Just going to use standard switch. Um, well, actually, this one isn't completely standard. It's a three pin that lights up. So I'll show you how to wire it up so it does light up. Uh, so it does have three pins. The only difference from this and a regular switch is it has a ground. So we're going to want power in to our switch, and this will vary from switch to switch, so you have to look at the diagram. Uh, we're going to go with the middle pin for power in to the switch, and again, we have another one of our high-tech taped on inline fuses. And this gets tapped in to power somewhere on the vehicle, or you can go directly to the battery, as I'm going to do. I'm just going to twist it in here with the relay, again, for demonstration purposes. And now we need to go from our switch with our yellow wire over to the last pin, which would be pin 86 on the little relay. And at this point, you can actually operate your relay and your switch. But if you notice, let me cover this up, the little light on the switch doesn't come on. If you want the light on the switch to come on, we're going to go to our last remaining pin, add a ground wire. Now, you can see the switch lights up, but that's not what the video is about. The video is about this relay. I'll try to flip the switch on as quietly as possible, and maybe you'll be able to hear the relay itself. That clicking is the relay itself going on. And as I was saying, with these relays, you can kind of switch things up and change pretty much everything. Like, I'm going to remove our red wire from pen 30 and our blue wire from pen 87. We're going to put our red on pen 87, our blue on pen 30, and flip the switch. And you can see that it still operates. And then we can even go a step further by taking, this is going to seem weird, but taking our power to the relay off of pin 86 and our ground from our relay off of pin 85, switch those. We're going to put our ground on pin 86 and our power on pin 85. And again, it still functions just fine. They come with these little plugs that have wires and stuff already on them, and the color codes will vary from manufacturer. If you buy them from one place to another place, these wires will change colors in different locations and all that stuff. So that's why I showed you how to do it with just the relay itself, so then you can get an idea for when you plug it into this little harness, you know, okay, this pen goes here, so that's what this wire does, no matter what the color is. And the really cool thing about these is you can mount them and they have these little slots and you can use those slots to lock them together and then make multiple rows, you know, this way and this way. You see that there's a relay missing there. You just pop one in and you can make a whole bank of relays and these are all snapped together and they pretty much stay all together. Okay, just to repeat myself one more time, I just want to run through these wires again and show you where they're going, where they're coming from, and all of that. We're going to start with our switch. We have a ground, and that is going over to a chassis ground, or you could run it to the battery if you like. This wire is not required. The only thing it does 
is causes this light to come on. If you see, I unplug it, the light goes off, but your accessory still works. So that's the only purpose of the ground on the switch. We have our orange wire. This is going over to our battery or another power source inside the vehicle. This you will want to have an inline fuse as I had before, but my tape fell off. And uh, like I said, it was just for demonstration purposes. Anyway, this wire will be power coming from your battery or another power source in the vehicle coming into the switch. Sorry if the camera's out of focus here. And then we have our yellow wire that's coming out of our switch over to our relay. And it's going into pin number 86. And then we have pin 85, which is a ground that goes to a chassis ground, or again, you can run it to your battery if you like. And we have our blue wire, which is pin 87, that goes out to our light. And our red wire, which is pin 30, that is power coming from the battery with an inline fuse into the relay. And then when you flip on your switch, it activates the relay with these two wires here. And so that takes the power coming into the relay from pin 30 and sends it out of pin 87 over to your light. And as I showed you, all of these can be switched around, but this is the standard way of wiring this relay. So hopefully you guys understood everything on that. And if you already know how to wire a relay, hopefully, you know, this was just like a good little refresher for you. I'll leave a link to these down in the description of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, that you learned something from it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps a lot. Uh, I and mean, if, if you like, share the video if you know somebody that's trying to do some wiring or is struggling with some wiring. Share the video with them. Uh, if you get the chance, go into my channel. Check out a couple other videos. I've got all kinds of different stuff in there. And if you find a video that you like, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.